So why do I like to see lives restored? Um, well, it goes back to when I was a little kid, probably about the age of 13, and um, my parents moved us to Mozambique from South Africa. And at that time, the country was at war, and we lived deep in the bush. And despite the poverty of the people, literally they were having to move from their villages into the larger towns at night for, to seek protection, um, I saw their joy and happiness. Um, despite the circumstances. And it was at that point that I understood how privileged I was in the education I was receiving, in the abundance of resource that we had at our disposal as well. Um, and yet they still had something that probably I didn't even have at that age of 13. And that was an incredible joy and a peace um, and an abundance of living. So I thought, how can I be part of that and yet also be able to contribute something into their lives as well? And I suppose from there, um, my life developed and I felt the calling, um, I felt the calling into a uh, relief and development and restorative kind of work. Um, so through my life's journey, I've been in Africa for 18 um, years. And finally, we needed to come back to Europe, and I found myself in prison ministry. And whilst it seems to be so different, um, many of the prisoners we work with come from very bo broken backgrounds. Um, they come from backgrounds where they've had very little opportunity to develop all of their God-given talents. So it's an incredible opportunity to reach out into those institutions and through showing love with the good news, it gives an opportunity for those guys and ladies to um, have their hope in life restored. And it's just amazing that it actually happens. Um, and seeing those stages of them turning their lives around. For some, it's a big miracle. Um, for others, they might have even become a Christian or heard about Christianity, heard about Jesus in previous times in prison, but they come back again and again, and yet each time the Lord works on their lives, and at some stage it flips over, and they start to live life in abundance. So, as a bigger vision towards that, it's not only the individual lives that we see um, where we see a, a, a difference being made, but my greater vision is that I believe prisoners above anybody in society understand what the grace of God is. And in receiving that abundance of grace and hope, what more powerful evangelistic message can be taken out into the world. So my prayer is that we start to create a generation of Christians coming out of prison, going back into their communities, often into the most um, deprived parts of society, um, and starting an incredible revival again. So we see across Europe and Central Asia where Christianity is on the back foot, we need to see a revival happen. And I believe and I pray that I'm doing my little part towards seeing the good news spreading across Europe once again.